Hello, Mr. Alex. Uh-huh. There we go. Uh, so, my name is Severin Nayemne, and today... I need to grind out some parts I'm missing, so I'll be starting the third new game cycle, this time for the true ending. We, as usual, start with the grid 135 cleanup, and I'll be skipping all the dialogue that's not unique to this specific playthrough. Let me also lighten my assembly somewhat. Let's see. Uh huh. I'm sure this will be fine. I can probably get away with those. And since I'm doing that, let's go for this. And sure, I might as well. Actually, I'll grab the nice head. I want to at least look good. Handguns. I think I have handguns. Yes, I do. Let's take the short ones. This should be enough for the first few missions. Oh, but I do want to. Uh, yep, that's the one. I only need short-range fire control, since no missiles, and let's take a generator that supports being reckless. There we go. Ah. Come on, skip. There we go. Probably loading in the background. Nope, it's loading now. Very unfortunate. Activating combat mode. Ah, uh, do I care about the Easter egg? I probably should on this one, shouldn't I? Oh, this guy has a shield. There we go. Oh, this feels so nice. To just assault boost with this one. There we go. Uh, I got hit from above. Maybe not. Could have just been the missiles. There we go. Only a few targets left. I really want to rush through this because there is a lot to do. And I want to get back to PvP. <laughs> oh, I missed. Okay, kicking is not the optimal solution. There we go. Michigan will learn in time. Oh, it really feels nice to be fast with this one. I can probably lighten it a little bit more make it go even faster, but I need money to do so. No new messages. To the point we might actually try to do some S-rank missions as well. Because those also pay out. If not for the ranking, then at least for the attempt being made. Uh, do I need anything else? Let me swap the color scheme, maybe? Nah, 
This one's fine. Although I will grab a melee weapon this time. And a bigger pistol. Sure, that works. Let's bring back some of that asymmetry that I so much enjoy. As long as it gets done. Main system activating combat mode. Commence mission. Destroy this probably the isn't the best content in the world, but. It also counts as S-rank practice, which I will need to do at some point. Where's the first set? Here. There. That's one of the artillery placements. Oh. Why? There we go. Okay, that was actually slower than just shooting. Very unfortunate. Oh, come on. This probably already isn't an S rank run. Then again, this mission doesn't exactly have very strict requirements. When I first played the game, I've been S-ranking them uh, as I went through. Oh shit, I might actually die here. I don't usually play this light of an assembly. Which might also explain why the kick didn't work as a kill immediately. There we go. It's that done. Actually, since I'm not S-ranking this, I might as well make the money by killing everything on the way. Clear out the artillery here Especially that handgun ammo is very cheap. Mission complete. That's it for this job, Return to base. I have a few more seconds to keep shooting, and it still counts for the payout. I think I can afford my first upgrade to the... No, the cores are disabled yet. Oh, but this one is... Ooh, this would make me faster, wouldn't it? Not by much, though. Neither would this, really. I do like those. Let's grab these. Let's quickly put the new pants on and continue the run through of New Game Plus Plus. Transport helicopters, tester AC. Sure, let's see if I can do the tester AC with a handgun and a dagger. Got a job for you, At this point, I should be able to. It's an open call from the Archivist Group. To all independent mercenaries. It's a good test of 
how rusty did I get? The target may be a product sample, and how de-rusted am I? Stay sharp, 621. Because that's also something that should have happened by now. Sadly, busy week, so I had absolutely no time to play this in my own time. Which is why I chose this over anything else for today. I really, really want to get my time with this game. Hello, hold on, ecstatic faces. I'm not sure I'm reading that correctly. Please make a mention if I got that wrong. Thank you for the follow. I wonder if this counts as an S rank. I only took 3000 damage. Oh, I so miss those legs. I may not run lights very often, but jumpy ones are fun. <laughs> One new message. And it is... Six, two, one. That was big, big ah, okay, so that's a rerun of the previous one. That's fine. I think new content starts after the watch point. Got a job for you, but I don't really remember. The Balaam group sent a request. Raven, this request comes from Dom. I know for certain that the now they're asking for you by name. Uh the mining Walker, Keep building your rep. the mobile base assault is different in this run. There is an option to actually protect it with interesting results. Main system activating combat mode. And that's a mission for which I will definitely need to have a specific loadout. Actually, I don't need to kill the grunts, I can just deal with the choppers and that will be it. This is meant to be a speed run. Oh, hold on. There we go. There we go. A quick run up to those and... Boom. Oh. Sure. Either works, really. Looks like they've got a Baus tetrapod. I don't care about the tetrapod. It's not part of the mission. Oh, hold on. Why am I? There we go. Looks like you got them all. With picking Rubicon clean, not enough for you. You shameless coral scavenger. Yeah, yeah. I am a shameless scavenger. Oh, but this is so nice. Look at how quick it moves. Look at how far it rushes with each dodge. I almost do not feel that my thruster is garbage in all regards except assault boost. Michigan. Yeah, 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 Michigan. Ah. Uh, I'm pretty sure my choice doesn't matter in this one. So I'll do the easier one that involves just getting the objective. I see your back, 60 McCorp, but it's just a The payout after penalties is effectively the same. 
And time is of the essence. Ah, there we go. Escort instead of attack. The weaponized mining ship. We will do that after the dam complex. Got a job for you, 621. And it is indeed Your ahead of the watchpoint delta. Oh, hold on. Let me just... There we go. That's how I should have been dressed for the occasion. Uh -huh. Let's alter the loadout slightly and give myself a laser rifle. Which one? The big one. Sure. This will require a generator to support it, which might as well be the best one. It's a little bit of a silly loadout. Sure, let's let's alter the generator to the core. Gun thirteen, huh? I'll stick with six two one. Don't let the red go. Fair enough. There isn't a particular reason to use the laser rifle here other than I want to. Especially that I don't plan to fight with Iguazu and Volta. That's fair. But no one even told you why we're here. Well, us real red guns are gonna go climb the wall. Nothing so left, perfect. When we're done, the local's little base is next. Good fire. Can't take yourself away from chatting with a tag along. Why don't you oh. start a sewing club damn it. and stitch that damn mouth of yours shut? A little bit embarrassing, but sure. One day I should really learn what my actual range is. Do I take the extra? No, no I don't. The coded transmission can go. Raven, <clears throat> I represent the Rubicon Liberation Front. Our request is simple. We want you to take out the two red guns. Our compensation will be double Balaam's offer, awaiting your response. Interesting. Your call, 621. I will refuse as I want Not the easier mission. Money. It was the Michigan line that got interrupted. I actually like those. Do you share me, you corporate vultures? Uh, hold on. The Rubicodians will never yield. You're Index Dunham. Do I care? Forged in ash. We stand as one. I probably I don't. don't. It really isn't. There we go. I don't need the combat logs, so there is no reason to fight him. They really are giving me the time to fight him, though. message. 
Oh, I see. Well, in that case, there we go. The red guns are going to be first over the wall. Have fun watching from the sidelines. Mm -hmm. Hold on. There we go. Yes. And sure. Mm. Yeah. There we go. Well, that's dealt with. Somewhat regrettable, but it happens. Such is the way of Twitch. Next mission, escort the weaponized mining ship. I know how this plays out, and I know I need specific equipment to deal with it. Conflicting requests indeed. Allow me to adjust my assembly so that I do not find myself overwhelmed by the situation. Uh -huh -huh. I'll definitely want my bazooka. I may want a slightly bigger melee weapon. You know what? Uh, let's see. Let's start by loading in my default. How about that? That should be fine. And then let's alter it for this specific mission, which will be an earshot grenade launcher. And perhaps a little bit bigger of a missile pod. I also might want some extra mobility. Huh, but which one? Sure, let's go with this one. This is a somewhat familiar loadout. I might even swap the javelin for a little gem. Just because it's lighter. And all I really need is an explosive weapon. Wait, no. There is one other thing I need. a precision firearm and this will probably require a different set of arms i think the hull ones yeah maybe hold on is there anything that doesn't give up melee this sure that works that's a good loadout for this mission i would hope Of being independent. 
indeed it is. Although, as I have found out, it's also a very long way to do so. Unless you are truly exceptional in your field. Oh no! This is familiar, isn't it? Enemies on the radar. Six two one, they're coming. This way. Ah, right. This is the section when they are still. My bad. Oh. Right. This isn't for fighting those guys. Come on. Give me something, you piece of shit. Good enough. They do spend a while stunned when they are actually stunned, but it's equally a problem to actually stun them. That's one, but very expensive. I might not have the juice in the tank to get both of them. And then there's more. Oh, my FCS is not up to the task. Hold on, maybe if I... Why are they so far away? There we go. That's not all though. Wait, there's more. There we go. Patience. Patience. Go. That's one. I can send the missiles after this one. It should catch it. No, it didn't. Ah, fuck. Yeah, you miss once, and that's all the opportunities you get. Shit. Oh, right. There is more of those bipedal ones. Shit. This is bad. Ah, uh, restart. There is no checkpoints here. You just have to get it done. Too many resources went into defeating the first two guys. Ideally, I really should just get them in one go. Instead of taking so much time to even get them staggered. Enemies on the radar. I might be able to... Did I get him? 
Yes, I did. Perfect. Okay, that's one, very quick, two. Only some 3000 damage. I can actually work with that. Shit. And that's it. Okay. Only one healing was necessary. Come on, stupid shit. Alien, this machines. Don't take them head on, six two one. They'll tear you to shreds. I think that's the point. Hold on. One more. We've got more incoming. And it actually fell apart immediately. Focus. Perfect. Okay. Two more dudes incoming. Ah, shit. This won't land. Reload and focus on those. Shit. Okay, I think I got the other one. No. But this one had to stop, so that's good. Okay. That's, that should be the last two guys to beat. And I have the juice if it goes well. just need to get the distance on him. Ah, shit. That won't work. Why did he stop? No. Nope. Wait. Get hit. Okay. One more. That's the last one. He has to stop eventually. For some reason, they will. There we go. Looks like the last of them. Nothing on the long range radar. You may have failed to protect the Strider, but you had a hell of an excuse. Oh, yeah. These are the same Institute Mystery Machines that you can find in some other missions. I would believe so. Or at the very least of a similar design. You must be the handler, I presume. For the independent mercenary Raven. Honored to make your acquaintance, V2 Snail. I understand you want to join Operation Wall Climber. Oh, this is no, just old dialogue. Up, That's right? fine. In that case, I don't need to actually listen to this. Time is of the essence. I'll do my best not to skip anything that's One new. new message. But otherwise, the story mode is available as VODs on YouTube. There is indeed, but also parts. Uh huh. Let's buy sure high speed torso, and I would like some 
high performance arms. Let's call them that. Uh, I have funds to spare, so some legs. Uh -huh. Let's load in this one, because I want to use this color palette. I did take the time to name and color the loadouts we created during the last PvP session. This is the Bite Basket. <laughs> which now has an arm referencing a snake and it's named after a basket, which is a common prop used in snake charming. The idea is that this laser shotgun is the snake being charmed. And this is just Venom Fangs because two guns. Not very creative here. Uh -huh. I want the new high speed torso I got. There we go. I'll take the low profile head from the aircraft. New high spec arms. And I'll pair it with the jumpy legs. This is exceptionally lightweight for what I usually play. I'll make it go fast. I don't need long range fire control. Or do I? Can I get similar performance out of something that boosts my missile lock a little bit more? No, I don't think so. Eh, that's fine. Generator. I won't be using an energy weapon, so let's take the one that lets me be irresponsible with my energy. Now, weapons. For this mission, I will absolutely need a vertical plasma launcher. In fact, since I am a lightweight assembly, I might as well grab two of those. I'll have a pile bunker, because it deals a lot of damage, and... Let's make this... Hold on. Oh, you know what? If I take this, I don't actually need the fire control for... Uh, close range. I can just go with the missile one, which is cheaper to equip. Oh, and I am a little bit too heavy. This is not enough to meaningfully penalize me for actually being overweight. But I will humor it and just go with a lighter melee weapon. Which one? Oh, this works. Perfect. Wall climber. In a loadout that I would normally not field for this, but this request comes straight from I have a need they for it. With a the are calling Operation Wall One of the reasons I'm doing this is because I want to learn new stuff, including a lightweight assembly. I wonder how fast exactly I'll be able to go. So I did load myself up with missiles. It's it's not bad. Definitely doesn't feel as fast as carrying just the pistols did. Oh, I will never actually. Yeah, this is bad. I definitely did not expect that I would have to dodge things. Just 
get rid of this. And that's my target. For now at least. I need it staggered first. Now. That should be enough. There we go. In fact, boom. Yep, it does. I don't have anything to fight indoors, now I realize, but it should be easy enough to do this with melee only. I sort of learned over the last two playthroughs that Balem isn't all that hot of a shit. Most of what they do is be funny. Comedy relief. This slowdown wants a different head. This one looks a little bit silly. Even though it is featherweight. And I like my speed. I've dispatched a supply Sherpa. Make sure you resupply. Eh, no thanks. Although I should probably record that line for later. Hello, Rusty. You must be Raven. I am. Technically. One of the infamous handler Walter's hounds. Interesting. You ready to climb the wall? Sure. Accidentally, I accidentally escaped the safe spot by trying to kick it. Also, this is nowhere near as fast as the previous attempt. I happen to know what I'm doing. Confirmed. Juggernaut destroyed. I also happen to have very little hit points remaining, which I only now realized. It seems he knew who you really are. Oops. <laughs> That's nice. One new message. About... We're war buddies now. I think ah, I should right. tell you during Operation Arc of the Planet. Yeah, yeah, sacrifice. Well but that's pointless, because I'm good. Or good enough, at least. Obstruct inspection. Wait. Hold on. Oh, right. This is a new mission. Let's do combat logs first. 
because I can actually grab a combat log here that I didn't previously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if I want to grab that combat log, though, I need to be ready for some technically PvP. How about this? And something that will do a lot of stagger damage. Ah, right. I don't own any shotguns. My bad. Sure, a javelin. And maybe a shoulder cannon of some variety. Oh, I only have the earshot here. Ah, but it's too heavy. Okay, fair enough. We ditched that. That works. I don't mind this aesthetic. Red isn't really my color, but... Yeah, I don't need anything else. I should be fine with this, shouldn't I? This is lighter. And it still looks okay. Even though I should recolor the head to match the body. Ah, there we Six go. Two, one. You should be used to Rubicon by now. Time to take a break from shooting up the place. I wish I could, but I will not. First thing first, the high priority things, which is the combat log. Hello, Z. Uh, yeah, sure. You, you killed them all. Technically, no. Just hold this up if you engage her. The mission comes before everything else. Shameless corporate dog. Come on, no. stop avoiding. Please. You don't need to give in, you just need to give up. There we go. And with that... I can continue gathering the logs. Sure, that's fine. I need to get up though. Let's fix that. Oh, come on. I believe there's some left up here. And then I can go into the wilds. Wait, not here? Ah, there we go. That's one. Analyzing. Nothing interesting. This gives us some more insight about V4 skills. That's five logs. Some more evidence on what the coral situation looks like. I f No, there isn't anything here. I just go into the snowfields now, and that should be it. Keep an eye on the clock. Either analyzing. 
Uh, yep, that's still haze, but I could field it myself if I really wanted to. Oh. How clumsy of me to miss that kick. And eight is all there is to this mission. Looks like this is the last one. Very interesting. There we go. This could be worth something. We've still got time, but we've checked out every promising wreck. That's it for this job, six two one. We did Return indeed, and we got the combat log from Z E. Which is also great. Because where possible, I should be gathering those up. At least the ones I know I missed. One oh. new message. Sorry. My bad. Go 13 Raven! Bagged us some decent intel on V4. Report this to Commander Michigan. Additionally, I introduce myself. Gun six red. But you can call me sir. Privileged to be Yes, a sir. Team. Sure thing. Let's go. <laughs> Whew. Well. I also know how this one works, but Let's go for the briefing first. Got a job for you, 621. A request from an independent mercenary, call sign Kate. Check the briefing. Greetings, Raven. My name is Kate Markson. I have a special request to ask of you. It concerns the elimination of PCA mandatory inspection squads dispatched to Baus Arsenal Number 2. Aside from subject guard, the PCA has also sent an LC squad to put further pressure on Baus. Baus, however, intends to disrupt the inspection with a raid by independent mercenaries. I need you to lie in wait inside the arsenal and ambush the Vanguard squad. I'll disrupt their rearguard squad outside, then rendezvous with you. That concludes the briefing. Looking forward to working together. I do too. I I wish I had more time with Kate. She is a treasure. <clears throat> now, for this mission, I'll actually need to bulk up a little bit. Which means... I'll field as close as I can to a proper loadout. This will work as a baseline. I need an actual thruster, preferably an efficient one. I'll grab a... Oh yeah, I, I do want to try this one at least a few times. I will need the pile bunker. I will need... Probably not the Harris, but at least the Renzetsu. Uh... And it might be smart to grab some... Hold on. Actually, it wouldn't be smart to grab missiles. I should grab... Oh, I don't have the other one. Uh, that's fine, I'm already in energy shortfall. Which means I need to swap my generator and I need to do it anyway. 
to account for the laser cannon on my back. Yeah. Come to think of it, since I do use an energy-based loadout, I might as well commit to it. Hmm, but which way? This is only 50 rounds, this is only 90. 60, 100. Let's see how well the basic laser rifle will do. Because I used to like these, but then I realized that the handguns are superior in almost every way. Yeah, let's let's give this a shot. Hopefully it will work out. It really is a strange mission, isn't it? Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. Eliminate the PCA's mandatory inspection squads. I'm grateful for your support, Raven. We'll rendezvous later on. Code one five. Unload AC. Where did it come from? Oh, hold Eliminated. on. There we go. Watch out for their laser fire. Oh, I need to charge up to actually kill those in one hit. Huh. Is there? Yes, there is. Oh, come on. Stop moving, you piece of shit. Oh, right, this has a cooldown. And you have no vertical tracking, of course. I'll kill it with kicks sooner than I will actually hit it with melee. Don't detect anyone. Ah, there we go. Die. I have no intention. In fact, not underestimating them is why I took the laser cannons. Because I know I can stagger I them, but the, the damage. Keep up the good work. I looked into this Kate. She's not even registered in the arena. Be ready for company if her plan to ambush the rear guard goes south. Oh, it won't. What the hell? I probably should have taken the other generator. My energy reserve replenishes quickly, but it doesn't last very long this time. There we go. And there's that. Confirmed. The inspection squad inside the arsenal has been wiped out. Mm, this is definitely not an S rank loadout for this mission. Oh, did they? You heard the lady. Updating marker data. 
we get to meet Kate in person, or as close as it's possible to. Yay. Isn't she beautiful? As much as I'd love to stop and chat, I'm afraid we're rather pressed for time. We might be indeed. Oh, and look, she uses my favorite loadout. Well, one of. managed to get inside. No, nope, I'm behind. Shit. That's bad. Come on. Oh, I might actually not have the juice. Come on. Ah, shit. She is at least distracting the other two. There we go. That's two. And the third one should be easy now. Boom. Come on, stop dodging. There we go. Or so they say. Confirmed. All special forces craft destroyed. Look at her. Excellent work. So elegant. And a good payout, too. Mwah. Perfect. Long time no see, Walter. Looking good for a change. I see you've got a new augmented human. What happened to 617 and the rest? Their jobs. Their jobs. They did what it... Huh. Really thought we did. I I do want to put together a 617 cosplay, as in uh, a loadout that mimics the one from the cinematic. Raven, thanks for the help with the mission. We'll meet again. That's a little bit brief. Got a job for you, 621. This request doesn't come from the corpse or the liberation front. You'll see when you. Yeah, yeah, I know. <clears throat> but first, uh, shop buy. What do I want to buy? I want to buy a shock pistol. I want to buy. Hmm, the other earshot, because I'm missing one. I wouldn't mind a Pulse Shield Launcher. It might be smart to fill out the gaps in my Plasma Missile loadout. 
Ah, but I can't afford to do so. Sure, let's buy the good melee arms while I'm here. These are probably some of the best arms in the game. Every other set of arms was boosted in stats several times on account of how amazing these ones are. And the only way in which they are amazing is the ratio of how much it costs to equip them, it costs almost nothing at all, to what they provide in both AP and melee specialization. This is the ultimate part for melee combat. Even though I don't like the aesthetic, but I can work with it. Let's see. Let's grab a little bit of a box head and some appropriately boxy legs. Maybe not this boxy. There we go. Look at that brute. Uh -huh. But what I actually want to do is stun pistol, stun baton. Let's grab... Oh, all my drones are on the other shoulder, huh? Oh, that's unfortunate. I'll have to correct that mistake at some point. Yeah, this works. Do I... No, I don't. I'll get one eventually, and then it will be complete. For now... I do want a more conventional missile launcher to go with the drones. And because of the mission that's ahead of me, I will actually want a proper long-range weapon. Which one is the best one for the situation? Oh, you know what? I can just take this. And then I put, let's say, this guy here. And solve my energy shortfall by also boosting my damage. Ah, huh, that didn't quite low work. There we go. Might as well pair it with the melee that I'll actually need for the coming fight. Yeah, this is fine. It's a little bit awkward, but... Now that I think... Where is that shield launcher? Oh, that's a pulse cannon. Ah, that works as well. I'll grab a pair of rifles. Because speed is what I want. Hold on. Maybe I can make it a pair of laser ones? Yes. Oh, and I have energy shortfall once again. That's silly. What did I do to actually make this happen? Let's lower the energy load wherever I can. Okay, I can't actually lower it here. This won't be enough either. Do I need to swap my generator? Sure, that works. And that will probably let me get back to the... Yep. This is actually a balanced loadout, except for the arms. Because now they serve no purpose, since I don't use a 
melee weapon. These ones will be fine. No energy shortfall. Yet. Somehow these ones don't. That's wild. Let's go with these. I wish I could use the Basho for this, but... I have other priorities. This is a rather personal request from a friend of mine. It concerns a certain facility, a watch point. Once it regulated the underground flow of coral. Now it serves to monitor the dormant veins. Hopefully with oh wait. You'll be going in I forgot some key. Be ready for anything. Ah shit. I should be fine, but I forgot about some key changes to this mission in... Yeah. Main system, activating <clears throat> mode. Leave no evidence. If anyone sees you, handle it. Code 1 five. Intruder sighted. It's, it's just one AC. Who are they with? We can look into that later. Engaging. They fire faster than I do, sadly. I can't get to the HQ. The cavalry isn't coming. And they hit harder too. Wipe them out, six two one. AP at fifty percent. Okay, fine, I'll fix it. Oh, they can actually fire through this. That's unfortunate. Confirmed. Enemy squad destroyed. Move on to the next area. That I will. Although I am a little bit disappointed. Don't have to go down there just yet, thankfully. This is the smart way to do this. Not the best way, but... I don't take any damage by taking the pot shots from above. You see that? That's the watch points control center. The target's inside. Make your way in. I think I can see him already. No, that's not him. It's something else. This is bad. He must be controlling them too. Don't think twice, six to one. Kill him before he kills you. I wish I could. Was it six one eight I killed last? Can you fuck off, Sula? Nothing on 
Hang busy. Forgot he has backup on this one. Because he wouldn't be very difficult with just the laser rifles if he was alone, but. Right. Of course. Because this stupid shit adjusts the camera position when you actually try to fire. Make a redo. Shit. That hound's better off dead. Damn it. We start from checkpoint. You see that? That's the watch points control center. Those guys obviously don't exist until I actually trigger their arrival, so I can't even preemptively clear it out. Hold on, I can go under the bridge. And of course, the cutscene will take me above it. Fuck. Come on, fuck off! There we go, that's one. Now let me hide for a bit. it for the escorts no it isn't he has two more fuck and they can shoot between the beams which is even more fucked up come on reveal him Probably my fault that I took such a short range scanner. I should have taken a scan head for this mission, but I forgot. Fuck. Fuck off. There we go. Confirmed. Enemy AC destroyed. That was painful. Back to work. Penetrate the control center and destroy the target. 
I would if I could. Now, at the very least, the fight against Balteos should be fairly easy. So I have a very simple battle plan. There. Destroy the device <laughs> in the center. And it's sadly one of the most effective battle plans against Balteos. Charging my shoulder cannon. Boom. I've taken your comms link offline for now. That massive dose of coral there. The waves are intensified. Raven. Okay, that's halfway point. Two repair kits remaining. Out. Come on, open up, you piece of shit. There we go. Boom. The enemy can't take much more. I know. It's and dead. Systems down. <clears throat> it's silent. It really is, isn't it? Raven. You need rest. I do. But not yet. What I need more than rest is money. Yeah, yeah, coral and travel and across the ocean. One, view. Six, two, one. I need to hawk some intel to the corpse and secure a backer for our trip to the ice field. One job for you while I rest up, and that's. He really does care. Handlers away on business for now. About that trip to the ice field, we've received a job from Balaam already. Let's take a look. And she's immediately being a bad influence. I want my. Oh, hello, LF. <laughs> I see you are also multitasking. Fair enough. Uh, let me just... Ah! Grid infiltration. This one I think I can speed run. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, speedy arms, which are these ones. Speedy legs, which are these ones. Speedy core, this one, and the minimalist head. There we go. For firearms, I need at the very least a pair of laser handguns, 
a booster that will keep me in the air. Sure, a grid walker. That actually works great with lightweight assemblies. I am doing fine. I was a little bit anxious to play this again, so we're doing this instead of a more varied schedule. But I am fine. Yeah, I can get away with this. I might make this a permanent... It's very interesting. Especially once you get to the higher ranks. I had an opportunity to spar with some people from the higher up the rankings. It was enlightening. <laughs> but for now, I need to <clears throat> collect cash and unlock parts. Because there is stuff that I'm missing and stuff that I can't afford. So today, new game plus plus. Tomorrow and Sunday, Dragon's Dogma is scheduled. And then I might do some actual variety next week. Oh yeah, did you see the character creator tool? I'm going to save so much time by using that before I stream. I already have my main character done. That's two hours shaved off of this launch stream. I haven't even touched my pound yet, and I already spent 90 minutes on it. There is a lot of thing you can things you can adjust in Dragon's Dogma 2. Although I am a little bit disappointed in the class selection. Especially that everyone only gets one weapon. Except for a class specifically designed to use all of them. What the hell? There we go. I wish you could skip those in at least the second playthrough. Uh, where do I... Ah, up there. Of course. This way. Don't care. Yeah, he has no combat luck, so fuck off. And that should be it. There is one last thing I might have missed. Somewhere up above. I don't recall. I'm pretty sure there was one more combat log I could get here, but I don't know where. 
I'll have to check when I do S rank pass playthrough. Because that's also a thing you can do in this game. I am. Oh. I'm not smart enough to know how far I can kick, but it works. She doesn't. She never does. Just a little refresh, because I'm not sure if I have what it takes to... Win without it. Too bad that this is goodbye. So it was a trap. The dozers are certainly living up to their reputation. Nope. Those grinder arms can easily destroy. Yeah, grinder arms. Fuck off. I'll just. I don't even need to stagger it, I can power through with the lasers. I need to land sometimes, sadly. This slowdown gets in the air quickly, doesn't necessarily stay there for long. I also really dislike that small bumps in terrain will actually slow down your energy recovery as you drop from them. That seems like bad design. Oh, hold on. Let's make sure I don't have an accident. Like that. Had I not popped the bubble, this would have been the end of me. Excellent. Did she got now? A job for you. Take a look. Excellent. Raven, it's highly unusual. To, did she hack into All Mind? She might have. All Mind will not be pleased with this. Stop the secret data breach. I actually know how to do this. Sadly, because of how it ends, I do need to adjust my assembly. A few drones, a sword, 
of some description. Sure, let's go with the laser lens. I don't use it much, but might be a smart idea. I think I can get away. This should be enough. And then I just need to adjust my generator to get rid of the energy <coughs> problem. Ah, but all of them are garbage. Because this core has a massive negative adjustment. In that case, let me use something with less of a negative adjustment. This will work. And now I have a little bit more options to choose from. Like my favorite classic, the Hokushi. This actually only became usable after an update. Previously, its stats were not amazing. There we go. Not the greatest, not the worst either. Oh, and I should swap the Gridwalker for something more appropriate. There we go. Actually, with this... Ah, oh, no, it's still just a little bit too heavy. Oh. I see. Well, if it works, I might as well. What's the scan range on this? Garbage. Let's take the best one. And maybe I have... No. Fine then. I will not use the legs that are... Oh, this looks so ugly, but it's so practical for this mission. Your handler didn't authorize this sortie either. Typical. Now that I think about it, air is a very bad influence. At least from Walter's perspective. System. Activating combat mode. Let's get rolling, Taurus. Understanding as he is. Every intent to. There we go. And we're now this way. Excellent. Yeah, but they probably don't have the resources to do that. I don't see how anyone would be on Rubicon voluntarily. Guess I better get to work on our countermeasures. Oh, hello. I didn't actually find this before. Let's have a read through. Text data extracted from a wreck. The lost audio transcription of for a voice log recorded by Professor Nagai, the Rubicon Institute Rubicon Research Institute Director. I have decided that assistant number one's son is to remain at the lab. He's a reticent one, though, too, beyond his years. <coughs> and now our research has robbed him of his mother and driven his father mad. He has every right to hate me. Perhaps assistant number two will be able to help. She does seem to have a knack for assembling toys. I hope that at least she can give him something to smile about. 
Oh, that that's a very strong hint that Assistant 1 is Walter's father. And Assistant 2 is Carla. Which would make the child Walter. Uh, hold on, this is the wrong place to be. I should actually scan where I'm going. Go. Oh, shot under the. One left. You'd have to try to mess ah, shit. Now. There we go. That works. It's probably wow. not fast enough. That was fast. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize you can contribute this much. Also. I have recently learned that I can extend this goal indefinitely if necessary. So, we might not be restricted to just 30 days. Although in the interest of fairness, I probably should. Yeah, but infinite time, that's Here also a little bit. Extra scratch. Guess I can settle the score at the same time. <laughs> I know. I, see the I know, sadly. Don't forget okay. to smile, tourist. Let's just set some drones. Bet you think you're hot shit now. I am. You're making a stink. You're gonna die, freelancer. I won't. In fact, I'm going to be a piece of shit and keep fighting him before I kill the drones. What the hell? They're all over us. Help me out or we're both dead. No, I won't be. Come on. There we go. More drones. And yes. What the hell? I do want to kill him before the drones. But it might be smart to actually take care of the drones. Because they are genuinely dangerous. And they do seem to be focused on me. And I think so is now Iguazu, so... Yeah, I don't think so. I can just spam him with drones. Okay, time to shield. Because I want to go in for the kill. Oh, fuck. Oh, this might not work. <laughs> ah, damn it. Learned your lesson. You're out of your league, freelancer. <sighs> ah, sure, let's do it from the checkpoint. Upsetting as it is. I see the coyotes <laughs> got some help too. Um, let me kill him. Actually, this will make things easier. What the hell? They're all over us. Help me out or we're both dead. Oh, I have no energy. Shit. You psycho or something? We're 
Yes, yes I am. I know. Although it's very weird that... With all those drones I'm deploying, nothing is dying yet. Where is the... There we go. That's the piece of shit I want dead. Oh, he killed them all. Now we can finally be alone. Your next That's interesting. He shouldn't be able to do so. Well, I will appreciate the fact that we are alone, though. Oh, what the hell? There we go. No, you wouldn't. Looks like it's over. I'll have the crew check out those mechs. Raven, those unidentified machines were using encrypted communications. Yes, they were. I'll do what I can to decrypt them. That was way harder than it should have been. Guess you noticed that job from Balaam and decided to take it. Next time, look before you leap. You can't trust anyone on Rubicon. <sighs> Keep heading. I'm pretty sure there is nothing new here. I've managed to decode those encrypted calls. Oh no, there actually is something new. And why am I an impediment? Oh, that's very interesting, isn't it? Let's load a loadout. How about this one? I do like this chunky boy. In fact, I might be able to buy him a more appropriate pair of legs. Not a wheelchair, maybe, but how about big boy pants? Maybe let's start with the arms. So I'm pretty sure I can get those first. Oh, I can't get the arms without the legs, huh? Your. But maybe I can get away with it if I replace them with a different set. Yeah, these can handle the weight. Not really sure about the performance, but they definitely can handle the weight. And I don't really worry about anything other than the AP. Might have to update the color scheme though. But for now, let's give this guy a try. Yes, uh, this sadly does not contain any new information by itself. Together, 
Well, she is a bad influence, though. Main system activating combat mode. Here we go, tourist. I'll lead the way, just as promised. But after this, you owe me one. This elevator goes straight to the top of the grid. I'm not sure if the arms work with the overall aesthetic. I do like the legs though. They definitely look the part. A few of the stupider dozers took it as a challenge, went out to prove themselves. You can guess what happened. We've arrived at the top, sending you new marker data. This is Carl's set. At this altitude, we're within firing range of the PCA satellites. Which is okay because we don't care. Intruder detected in forbidden sector. Terminating target. In fact, I care so little that I'll try to rush through this place. Get down here. And try to get as far as I can. Oh shit. Hold on. Hold on. I need to stop on one of those. I didn't actually have the juice to make it all the way through. Oh fuck. I don't even have the juice to get out of here. I may have made some mistakes with my loadout. Hold on. Oh. There we go. I'm pretty sure I... Yeah, I can't sneak around through here, can I? Oh, maybe I can. Yes, I can. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't really done this before. Usually I'm fast enough to just rush in. Oh, there is more. There we go. That's what I like to see. Let's get the cargo launch. Eh, might as well. Ready? I didn't use much, but there. why not? Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, let me pause. Uh, I don't actually have any snacks, but I'll have a stretch and a sip anyway. Thank you for the supply check, I left. The cats are asleep, so they don't get a snack, sadly. Currently beating me up. Come on, come on, come on. I have no mobility. It's taking off. 
Yeah, it's sticking off. Oh, what the hell? Huh. That's unfortunate. I was certain I could survive a single volley. That's unfortunate. Oh, come on. Twice in a row. Oh, that's very unfortunate. An attack that was supposedly made much weaker and tracked much less. That stomp is still quite brutal. What the? It's taking off. Another coral response. Watch out. No, this could be some good R and D data. Can't wait to get back to the workshop. AP at thirty percent. It's taken major damage. I think I don't have the juice. Nope. Fuck. Uh, sure, one more attempt with this loadout. But I might be a little bit too heavy to actually fight it from the air. That's actually embarrassing. Dodging already. It is not taking nearly enough damage for me to actually be able to defeat it, though. Okay, this should be fine, I say, as I probably die again soon. I hope I can. This should be enough. In fact... Ah, there we go. Well, cuts in immunity, so don't care about the explosion. They were using coal for fuel. That was quite the show, tourist. No, it wasn't. It was actually embarrassing. I I now know that I need to improve the energy efficiency of this unit if I am to actually use it. Because sadly so far it's only been tested against enemies who had no way to deal with it. By the way, Tor 
forest. Your Walters have Yeah. Mostly lessons that were learned. Well, I guess a dog can't choose its master. But still, tough luck. I feel sorry for you. I really do. Walter isn't that bad. Okay, so nothing new here. Perfect. Raven, I've been looking into the integration program, and I turned up something interesting. Oh? It looks like All Minds been <coughs> gathering data on new craft no one even knows about yet. Did they? Installed the back door. How about taking a peek, Raven? Absolutely. This is actually new stuff. But first, I think I want these. And I might be able to get away with those. Can I afford two? No, I'm just shy. Huh. And these are even more expensive. That's unfortunate. Let's grab a second shotgun then. I need to update this guy with the other arms. They're a little bit weaker, but a little bit easier on the load. And maybe, although I'm not a fan, No, I want to keep this one. This one is fine. The Thruster. This one is slowly starting to get outdated. And I might want the performance from this one. Because I don't really care about melee and otherwise it's a little bit better. Yeah, definitely get fewer penalties from the weight and more speed on the ground. Talbot is not necessary. I can probably get away with something else. Ah, but there isn't anything that beats Talbot in what I actually do. That's unfortunate. Oh. Oh, I see. I don't actually have any options for generators. At least not if I want to stay lightweight. Oh, that's unfortunate. I guess this improves my energy management enough to be worth the sacrifice. Now, if only there was some way to tune this so that it costs me less. For now, I'll have to stick with what I have, sadly. Which does explain a lot about my struggles. Unless I do use the lighter arms again, but... They are not lighter by enough to make a difference. Seven thousand. That might actually be enough. It is. It's also slightly unfortunate, but... Sure. Let's give this config a try. But, hold on. Air mentioned. 
Classified Subject 51101 Air Steel Haze Ortis AC data added to the integration program, encrypted and accompanied by a note. Elcano has stolen Archibus technology and used it to develop a new model. In fact, the fact that this craft has entered the hands of the Rubicon Liberation Front is acceptable. However, the time is not yet right. We must wait for Archibus to put the primary factor for the project in place. We get to fight against what would have been otherwise a spoiler. We get to fight Rusty's upgraded suit. And I will do it in the bite box, model free, because I want to try that out. It's honestly hard to say mass produced about any AC. Main system activating combat mode. Oh. Well, fuck you too. Ah, shit. Hold on. Oh, it costs all my energy to dodge even once. Need be, I can do this. It's actually not all about mobility, though. Even if it has amazing energy management. Ah, and this is the unlock I wanted. A needle missile launcher. This is the one thing I was missing that I very much want. It's a big want. What do you think Allmind is collecting all this data for? I'm concerned about what these notes mean. What is the primary factor? Well, that is yet to be revealed, isn't it? Now, let's see. Can I... Oh. Well, it would work if I was interested in doing so, but... I am so upset this is too heavy. So I would really love to make these the arms that this unit uses. But then the Basho is too weak to carry them. I think I can fix this. No, I'm not wealthy enough. And the only legs that can actually carry this are the silly pants or the really big ones and those are overkill unless I actually plan to load them with everything I can uh, in that case the arms sadly need to be lighter It, it's fair enough. I think I will at some point get the parts I need. To make this truly stand out. For now, let me just save this version 2.0. 
I think I do enjoy the new generator a little bit better. And let's load up my main one, because the next mission does not have any specific requirements, and I do want to adjust it slightly, namely with the new part. Which also allows me to put this on. Ah, huh. and I can get away with one of these two. Let's stick with what's there. I'm happy with this. I don't even need to test this because I know how it will work. I know exactly what happens here. There is nothing new in this mission. Are you still hearing things? <laughs> yes, I am. There has been this entity known as Chat slowly growing. Just a quick little... An intruder. Solo no, no My intruders. Didn't see anything. Money, no doubt. Yep. Very interesting. Make a copy of this. Probably a good idea that I explain what the launcher that I wanted so much does. It fires needles. Hence, needle missile launcher. These are high speed projectiles with, uh, well, some tracking, but not great. More importantly, however, they have. An amazing amount of stagger damage, which means that they can stagger some enemies with the first hit, and an equally amazing direct hit adjustment, which means I can now, with the shoulder missiles, punish an enemy for allowing me to stagger them. This will be very important in PvP when it resumes. Not to mention that you can, thanks to their speed, actually fire them against an enemy that hasn't been fully locked onto yet. And they will still be somewhat effective when used as a direct fire weapon. Especially for what they are meant to be used as direct fire weapon, which is direct hits. This is enough cash that it's worth the detour. Oh, 
No. I got hit. That's unusual. At least by this particular set of turrets. I may have had a little bit too much fun. Oh, right. I didn't actually interact with the objective. My bad. Oops. This isn't a kill mission. This is a survey. Technically. I'm here to kill nerds. Who's firing and why? Please stop. There we go. A little bit rough, but I should make it to the supply sherpa without reloading any further. Oh, shit. I say as I get hit again. Damn it. Right hand ammunition at fifty percent. Now it should be easy. I wonder if I can actually manage to kill them before. Ah, fuck. Okay, it's probably best that I don't try. Especially that in a moment. Yeah, that happens. Come on, give me the last one. There. It's not subject guard. Did they send in an enforcement squad? Six two one. That's an LC. The PCA's rank and file, and a big step up from subject guard MTs. Hold on. Kick. A missile. A melee. There we go. This time, this guy dies. Very quickly and very easy. It's everyone? No, one more. Oh, a few more, in fact. Where's the last one? And now to eliminate the warship. <clears throat> Am I a sniper? Come on, give it to me. Shit, I am not a sniper. I don't want to get on board. Did I hit? At all? Yes, it just wasn't enough. Enemy propulsion systems compromised. It's going to blow. Get clear, 621. 
It would be fun if this game had a bestiary where you can look up the enemy types. Maybe learn more about them. Because I would like to learn more about those flying drones. I might be able to finish the new game Plus Plus today. Haven't talked since we climbed the wall. We have not. I'd love to catch up, but I'll cut to the chase. The PCA has deployed its suppression fleet. And now it's laying down the law all over Rubicon. We've already Indeed. lost several survey bases, and Balaam's in a sorry state too. For their part, the Rubicon Liberation Front sees this as an opportunity. Now, if you ask me, they're counting their eggs before they're hatched. At this rate, the corpse, the Rubiconists, and the independent mercs will go down together. I'm sending you a request from the Archibuts group. We could use the wall climber's help. That's nice. as well by the Balaam group. Seems both sides have been forced to halt the coral survey. Check the briefing, 621. Raven, I've also picked up a job for you. In the ship it's now. just the corporations <clears throat> who have their eye on you. The Rubiconians do too. Following the PCA's attack, the Rubicon Liberation Front has established a division in the Central Ice Field. This job comes from their commander. Right. Uh, first things first, though, parts shop. Because I believe there is something that's actually new here. Ah, I know what's what it is. It is... Hold on, where is it? It should be here. Did I miss it? No, it's at the bottom. It's the second needle launcher. Which I will acquire, because there's nothing better than a good thing than two good things at once. I'll also grab this, because I should probably have one of those at least. <laughs> what missions do I get? Eliminate V7, attack refueling base, tunnel sabotage, and corporate salvage. Nothing of this matters or is new. I've already done both of these on the previous set of runs. Let's go through a the attack on the refueling base, but while the briefing plays, I'll go hey, have a quick little thing. This job comes from Schneider of the Archibus Group. Here's the rundown. They want you to attack the Jorgen refueling base, a PCA foothold on Rubicon. The target is the energy refinery plant deep inside. Take that out and, well, it ought to slow down their suppression fleet at least. Until recently, Jorgen was one of Balaam's coral survey bases. It only took a day for the PCA suppression fleet to commandeer the base. You'll also find a number of fuel storage tanks that I've marked as pay targets. I want you to be a walking advertisement for opportunities and destruction.
Well then. My thought process has taken me to the kitchen where I got myself a fresh drink. That will wait until the last sip of the previous one. And in the meantime, there's no better advertisement than the primary loadout. to terminate me. There's also bonuses for killing everything. There we go. I absolutely do. This is a money-making session, so I will absolutely go for any objective that gives me more cash. This includes killing everything along the way here. Hold on, this guy is actually being annoying. Killed everything here, so that's okay. Code five, unknown AC. Must be after the plant. Let's go Could down the bridge because I skipped this previously on account of knowing that it's rather futile. Leave the to the Intercept. AP at oh shit. Those actually hit hard. Shit. There we go. That's both of those, and I believe there is some stuff underneath here. Like this guy. I am being a little bit wasteful with my ammo, but there is a resupply point later on, so no real harm is being done. Except maybe me not finding whatever target I've set out to find. I see a radar blip, but I don't... Oh. Oh, hello. That's one. There is something beneath me. Or there was. Yeah, there he is. Go 
collect any corporate data you can find. The system will... Wait! Code 1-5! It's that AC. Terminate it! Right hand ammunition at 50%. Go. <clears throat> oh, maybe time for another sip. I'm pretty sure there was one more thing I could kill here. Ah, there we go. Here's the Vanguard. Handle it. That's everyone in this section. Yep. Time to go down and kill some more. Two more generic weaponry stations. Breaking those helicopters should actually count as, yep, 10,000 each. Definitely more than the ammo I'm using to do so. Should be all of them here. Enemies, that is. I am being very diligent. All fuel storage tanks destroyed. This should be a nice catch, Raven. Now, it should. No, oh, I see. No, oh, no, 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 no. Wash oh, shit. Okay, fine. I'll use the catapult. Clumsy me. Up I go. And there will be this resupply point I mentioned earlier, so that I'm not out of ammo for the big fight. Now, breaking in. Usually I just rush through, but... Money. Normally those guys just disappear after the cutscene, but... I think that's all of them? Yeah, there's just the target. And there will be just the two guys that come out. I wonder how far can I... Go to three, attending scene. Watch point before checked out. I do like their weapons. I'd like that lance at least. Priority subject for termination. High on the list. Not necessarily the gun, but that lance I would very much like to have. That 
That's one. That was too far. <laughs> no, I'm too slow. Yeah, it looks fire and the one you get is just a hunk of junk attached to your arm. I'm very upset about how the lands you get looks versus the lands they get. There we go. Air praised me. I did a good job. <laughs> and I got paid reasonably well. Uh, the bonus pay is what? Uh, four times the expenses? Almost five. And that's mostly because I use the expensive weapons. Archivist Group Mercenary Liaison, V8 Pater here. <clears throat> Impressive work on the refueling base assault. V4 has left me a message addressed to you, if I may. <clears throat> I knew you could do it, buddy. I've got my eye on you. Uh, that is all. We at the Archivist Group expect much from you. I'd say likewise, but... Yeah. Next mission. Eliminate a V7. I already speedrun this a few times, so... AC, uh, the handgun one, load, yes. Now, I may want to adjust this loadout with the new parts I recently unlocked. Namely, why use missiles? <laughs> you can, oh, I cannot. Too heavy, huh? Uh, maybe if I swap the core? Still not good enough. But... Oh, with this I don't even need to be... This much of a... Hmm... It is a little bit too heavy. Let's go back to the drawing board with this. Because what I can instead do is to put this silly little thing, then the lighter generator, and I think I have a pair of more energy efficient legs. Yeah, I should have. Oh, and wouldn't you know? It's these ugly pants. Maybe I'm being too ambitious here. Let's stick to what I had, at least for now. I'll figure out a way to upgrade this one eventually. Oh, but of course. Can I not swap the arms? I do have those now. They aren't much better, but... They are lighter. I'll have to think on this. For now, let's just go. Actually, I won't. 
This is very much speedrunnable. Main system activating combat mode. All you need to do is go here. I've estimated the target's position based on the data we received. Sending results now. Watch out for the surveillance ETs. If they get a read on you, this operation is over. If you pick up the capture camera tracking, take cover or quickly destroy it. Oh, a dangerous ricochet. stuck on terrain. There we go. That was a little bit silly. Raven, look over there. I've detected an AC in combat mode. That must be Swinburne, the target. I'm pretty sure there isn't anything down there. It's Swinburne, the Vespers number seven. This is our opportunity for an ambush. Let's back your post, Grunt. I can handle myself, thing. What? No. Who are you? He figured out that I'm not his friend. He's actually not that significant of a character. I'm pretty sure he only appears in this one mission. You realize I lead the Vesper 7 squad, which means I hold the purse strings. Every single transaction goes through me. I asked you a question. Don't you have any manners? Nope, not this time. Come on, die quicker. That silly shield of his. There we go. What's with that meaningful hmm? I don't like it when she does that. One new message. Is it actually new though? Raven, you have our gratitude for eliminating Swinburne. Some of us were worried that the enemy, but it seems we can trust you after all. Glad to be on the same side. This is a suggestion that the bribery attempt might actually be worth investigating, in case you do want to do that. Uh, what's the next mission? I want this one because it's quicker and more money. I will swap to I won't swap I'll create a low budget assembly This one. Yep. And do I need a... I probably don't. However, since I am going low budget, 
I will need additional weapons that I can get for free. Which in this case will be legs. I'll have a build based around aesthetic more than practical functionality. Which means those arms because they are my favorite. I should base it on a different loadout, but eh, this is fine. This is fine. It's as low budget as it can get. Cheap gun to fire, focuses on melee. Direct request for liberation from leadership. Perhaps the situation has changed their attitudes too. I'll do it in the order opposite to the one I used originally. I'm grateful for your assistance, Rick. Just so that there is something Target new here. Two camps. Attack one, and the other will move to reinforce. I'll leave the question of where to strike first in your capable hands. I don't want much in terms of repair costs. Ah, shit. It's not Hold a red on. gun or a Vesper. We've got an independent. Code 7 8, requesting backup. Enemy threat level unknown. Understood. Oh, I'll head shit. Over as soon as the HD is prepped. We can't let them on. Oh, fuck. Two repair kits remaining. Can you please stop dodging? Piece of shit. Oh, and they are... Oh, what? He lived? This is such garbage. Fine. Ah, uh, yes, I would very much appreciate if they didn't move. It's so annoying when they do. Especially that they are input reading bitches that only dodge exactly at the moment it avoids my attack. There is no way to cheat them, there is no way to make them... to make a bluff against them. They always know exactly when you actually attack and dodge then. QPC ALCs. They're highly mobile sharpshooters. Cope one five. Enemy attack. It's not a red gun or a Vesper. We've got an independent. Code seven eight. Requesting backup. Enemy threat level unknown. Understood. I'll head over as soon as the HD is prepped. Oh, come on. Seriously? Go to three attending C. Situation. We're taking heavy damage. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, hold on. That guy is actually dangerous. Oh, come on. What the hell? Maybe I should start with the easy one. Striking in the easy one. We're under attack. Cancel the maintenance. Get the HC online now. Oh, shit. Did the corporations hire you? They must be confident to come here alone. No matter. This duty's more than a match for some patchwork AC. Raven, the HC line is reserved for elites. The pack's cutting edge technology. Don't let it become a corporate asset. Better than the other ACs. Keep the pressure up, Raven. System oh, do I hate this? Continue. Gladly. This is so stupid. Two LCs. The lieutenant's engaging a hostile. Provide support. It's not a red gun or a venture. We've got an independent. And now I have nothing to fight the other two with, so I might as well restart. Ugh, this is such bullshit. In my attempt to rush this through cheaply, I'm actually wasting more time and effort than is necessary. Where the fuck do those missiles come from? Two repair kits remaining. Do they really have to make these games so frustrating? I just want a straight up fight without distractions. Meanwhile I get bullshit against flying enemies. Missiles. <clears throat> You'd expect, with the prevalence of missiles, there would be some sort of countermeasure against them developed by somebody. But no. Highly mobile sharp my ass. Code one five. Enemy attack. It's not a red gun or a vesper. We've got an independent. Code seven eight. Requesting backup. There we go. It's just an eight. Code three one A. Chief Sergeant down. Target 
Damn it. Where's the other one? There was one more missile launcher here. I am frustrated beyond words right now. This is not how it should have gone. money wasted to kill the little shits along the way. This isn't what I wanted. The other guy already here. Go to three, attending C. Well, at least I'm alone now. Both target LCs destroyed. Now for the HC Raven. AP at fifty percent. What the hell? This took so much longer than it should have. Twenty minutes burnt on one mission. You live up to your name, Raven. You fight like a bird in flight. And I'm probably going to spend so much on repair costs. My ears require reloading. Let me do it. Yeah, the repair costs are eating me. Shit. That's unfortunate. How's it going, Walter? Hard to say. 621 still performing well, but... I, didn't... I don't need to hear this. This isn't new. Perfect. Raven, I've been thinking about what Metal Flatwell said. To fly beyond Rubicon's scorched skies and chase the freedom we never knew. The others are so used to fighting and shouting slogans that they've given up thinking. But Flatwell, he's exploring the potential for something new. He might be. But to actually access that potential, we might have to ruffle some feathers. Oh. 
Is it in here? There we go. Uh -huh. Let's buy some new parts since I need a morale boost. How about an electric launcher? And some funny handguns. I'd also like a... Shield launcher, because I couldn't get one before. And the other missile pod. Now, I'm not going to use those immediately. Oh. Ah, right. Well. Uh. Hmm. This will have new content, so I will do all the other stuff first. This is the quickest, I believe. This request comes from the Rubicon Liberation Front. We know what it is. It is a single boss to defeat. It is probably best defeated with... This loadout. But I will modify it slightly. No reason not to use the pile bunker if it's a viable option. And the enemy we fight here isn't particularly mobile. Well, it moves a lot, but it moves in a way that's easy to predict. I do, don't I? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There's so much bullet spam. This is basically a bullet hell level if you try to play it without taking any damage for the S rank. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. I did not realize there was this many missiles in the air. Since they do come with some delay. Can't he please stop moving? Or maybe not stop moving, but fire fewer guns at once. Hello, Vortis. Uh, thank you for the supply check. I actually have a the good one ready right now. So let's do that. There we go. I'm not sure. You'd have to make it audible in some way.
If only there was one. Anyway, thanks for the supply check, Vortis. Oh shit. <laughs> I think that didn't quite work. Oh shit, hold on. Ah, damn it. Well, it succeeded in distracting me though. So at least that part came through. There isn't much exchange going on, honestly. I'm just getting wailed on. This won't work. I should be able to do it this time. Oh shit. He woke up way faster than he should. Was a little bit annoying, but it's done. The cataphract has been destroyed. Mission accomplished. Forget about this Raven character. Borrowed licenses are always trouble. They are, aren't they? What are you and Walter doing here on Rubicon? Best not ask. Also, we are going to ignore the objective anyway. No, oh, it's not from Kate. I don't care about the front. I want Kate. Uh, well, I didn't make enough money to buy new parts, so let's do the boring missile launch support. Let me load in this one. Yes. But I will adjust it slightly. We won't need... We'll take those instead. And for handguns, I will instead take the rifles. Now, this is a little bit heavy, so we need to support it properly. Hmm. I might be able to get away with just swapping the core. Nope, not quite. Need a bigger generator. And that makes Amphara useless, so how about this? Do I have any heads or arms that look and play better? Sure, might as well take this one and I believe... Yeah, this will this will do a bit of a better job handling the rifles.
my FCS should be focused on multiple target missile lock. The boosters are okay as they are. This is very much a hold position loadout. With a shiny copper dome. How sad. You did arrive as scheduled. I suppose they're an ego bunch. Oh. Come on. There we go. Confirmed. First enemy wave destroyed. Now I don't exactly remember which way they come. So I will have to rely on my radar. Think no from above first. To deal with. Never thought they'd end up palling around with the PCA. Smart, but not for long. No, nope. actually the other side. Keep the fireworks safe. It's a little bit upsetting. And these lasers are perfectly suited for removing the dropships. Not to mention everything else. I'll be very disappointed if I somehow manage to take any damage here. Oh, I see. Those missiles are garbage. That's disappointing. No worries. Feeling antsy, tourist? Not at all. Patience have the fun. We want our guests to enjoy this. I should focus my left uh should fire my left arm a little bit more. It's now six behind on shots taken. Third wave coming from the bridge. These machines look different. Toy box max. One of our spicier products. Take them out first. There we go. Just free behind on the left arm. And I see no hostiles currently. They do give you some time. This doesn't sadly scale the difficulty up to your performance. Chatty's almost ready. Don't fell us now, tourist. Another set of individual enemies. Oh no! Maybe he's off a little tourist. There won't be anyone left to see the fireworks. Oh, one missile is gone. Shit. They are not sending in dropships anymore. Which means I don't have an easy way out. Oh, 
Also, the missiles are very much not working. They lock on too slow and there is not enough multi-target opportunities. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. This should be enough. Yep. That's the stuff. Thanks for the I think I run out of targets now. Yep. They finish early if you run out of targets. Here come the fireworks. Enjoy. Excellent. There is the predicted impact point. Looks like I was a little off. Well, close enough is good enough for me. Raven. They really are like fireworks. Yeah, I suppose. Although this mission is completely out of the blue, honestly. In terms of this story, there really isn't a reason to have this defense mission. It doesn't add much. One new message. Chatty stick, RAD. Thanks for helping with the firework. The chief, that's all. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, Chatty. But I have no time to be, Chanty. This one will have new content. This is a personal request from a friend. We still don't have enough data to pin down where the coral is gathering in the ice field. According to my friend's sources, we could find some clues here. Xylem, a city floating on the ocean built by the Rubicon Research Institute. Ever since the fires, that place has been abandoned. It's likely hiding secrets about the coral, kept shrouded by the city's ECM fog. My friends already tried sending in a survey drone, only to lose it in the interference. That's where you come in. I want you to disable the ECM fog generators so that we can resume the survey. Honestly, a single drone is not a lot of effort, and yes, that defense mission was completely filler. Uh -huh. I need to have a dualist loadout, I believe. Let's grab this one, but adjust it slightly. The adjustments I'll make are the head, so that it's the nice one, the legs, so that they too are nice ones, and the rifle, so that it is not the ruinously expensive one. Let's have a shotgun instead. I keep the dagger. I think I should keep the Aurora launchers. I might swap the arms. Because there is a good reason to do so. And I might even have something to swap them to. Sure, this works. Off we go. The ECM fog is going to interfere with COM until it's disabled. Follow the beacons left by the survey drone. System. 
activating combat mode. That's very nice. Keep an eye on your surroundings. This must be a beacon left by the unknown intruder detected. Normalization process. Those seem to be city defense atonement. I've located an ECM fog control device. See if you can access it. Confirmed. The there we go. Nice and quick. Ah, shit. I missed. I can't find any data on these. I'm sorry, Raven. Second fog control device located. Wait, did it? No. It just escaped. Come on. Get killed. There. Might as well go this way. I know how to avoid it, but no, right. My lock range is non existent right now. It might have been a silly idea to take the well. There is stuff that I will need them for later, so that's fine, I suppose. Right -hand ammunition. That Attack should be all. Set. Oof, but I wasted so much ammo. Is that the survey drone Walter mentioned? Yes, it is. That should be... No, it's not. There we go. Now we know what happened to the drone. Fortunately, the data we found helped to identify where the last ECM device is. I've set a marker for it. Let's check it out. But... We will check it out slowly. It's been a long time since we've been on a mission together without Walter. The control device isn't going anywhere. Take your time, Raven. Well, I might as well take some time. of the control devices. Fair enough. We'll have Walter back after this. ECM sub systems offline. Switching to encrypted circuit. Oh. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Apologies for the intrusion. You have been followed. Contact is imminent. Oh. All silent coming. AC. Forced in ash, we stand as one. This place will be your grave. Minutes to move it on. Call sign Raven. Augmented human C4621. Please destroy the hostile AC. Is he now? Shit. 
shit is actually quite good. Fuck. There we go. Might actually die here. Left shoulder ammunition at thirty percent. Right hand ammunition depleted. And it's gone. Right Fuck. shoulder ammunition at thirty percent. I need to at least wear him down enough that I can finish it off with the dagger. Sadly, he is benefiting from boss boost. So he is not using legitimate stats for his AC. He actually has a little bit more durability than that. Oh fuck. And now I have nothing. It's better this way. No, it's not. I just didn't have the ammo. Raven, that's the last of the control devices. We'll have Walter back after this. S ranking this one is a major bitch. But for now. Oh, hold on. I need to finish the hack. There we go. You have been followed. Contact is imminent. Forced in ash, we stand as one. This place will be your grave. Menace to Rubicon. I'm not a menace. An interloper at best. Please destroy the hostile AC. Ashes. Why can I not? There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is he so much tougher than he should be? Bullshit. Raven, that's the last of the control devices. We'll have Walter back after this. He should not be this tough. ECM sub systems offline. Switching to encrypted circuit. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Apologies for the intrusion. <laughs> you have been followed. Contact is imminent. Forged in ash, we stand as one. This place will be your grave. Menace to Rubicon. Call sign Raven. Augmented human C4621. Hold on. I will lead him to a more open area. Because it's annoying enough that he hides behind bullshit every time.
Yeah, yeah, coral your ass. So brutal how much tougher than he should otherwise be he is. There we go. Oh that was very much painful. I forgot how bad this fight is. Just a little bit more. You again. I'm a busy man. Far too busy for the likes of you. So I'll uh, get to the, the plant of Kvary. One more gen. We are going to hunt the worm. And this section, I believe, also has no new content. Oh. There's something you need to know about Thelma the Lion. I managed to retrieve some data from the wreckage of his AC. It's something about coral release. Again, huh? Text data. Dolmayan's writings, number four. Extracted from a wreck. Appears to come from the writings of Thum Dolmayan father of the Liberation Front. As always, she whispers to me from inside. She tell me that she found something in the journals of Institute City. Something about the potential for symbiosis. Coral release. If such a thing is truly possible, then perhaps I can join her on the other side. Well, Raven, just so you know, it looks like some unknown craft data has been added to the integration program. Why don't we go take a peek? Sure, why not? It is... Ah, another spoiler, this time from the Fires of Raven ending. The one piloted by Walter. Actually, I think both of those are from Liberation. Yeah, this is also Liberator of Rubicon. Because you fight Walter after you meet up with Rusty. Ah, right. This is from the fires, because that's where you fight Rusty, and this is from Liberator. That's the order. In any case, AC data added to the integration program, encrypted and accompanied by a note. The last of the IB series has made itself known. We have identified a promising candidate to serve as the project's secondary factor. This machine must be destroyed to remove any further obstructions. That man has greatly delayed our efforts to put the third factor in place. Revisions must be made. I see no reason not to duel it with the proper energy loadout. Raven. 
kept secret by own mind. HAL 826. That's an IBIS series designation. Why don't we see how it performs? Main system. Activating combat mode. Oh. Ah, shit. Fuck. Hold on. I should be able to just finish him off. There we go. No need to take any risks. Target destroyed. If this is a reproduction, then the real thing must be out there somewhere. It's actually sitting in my hangar. Just not really assembled. Oh, and I get a coral rifle. That's nice. That's actually a souped up version of what I used to defeat it. They clearly used coral technology, but what connection does it have to the fires of Ibis? Well, oh, this drains so much juice. It is a little bit more powerful when fired in single shot mode, and it is lighter, surprisingly enough. Paired with, say, the right core. This could be an upgrade to what I've been using so far. Perhaps there is a way to actually put it to use without compromising too much on my firepower. probably have to find a different core. This one. This one seems to be the only one that applies. Very well then. Oh, well, that's nice. Sure. It's really hard to put anything else in pair with this gun. Let's give it a go in the next sortie. Attack the old spaceport. This also has no news. This is just the hey, intro buddy. to Worm Hunt. Got a request from Archibus for you. Here's the briefing from my... If this mission succeeds, the corporations will deal the PCA a major blow. Ignore V2. That's very much what I plan to do. Main system activating combat mode. Commence mission. Destroy all. In fact, we will missions. focus on the work so much that Code we will skip five. all of the additional enemies to fight. All base personnel. Like that guy. I'm on 
on standby near Harlov, buddy. Patch me in. I'll gauge the situation on your end before I jump in. Oh. Hey, buddy. This does Take build up a little bit more heat than it should Take on a single shot. Which probably explains why it's cheaper and more powerful when it fires. Internal comms are out. What's going on? Yeah, this fires slower. It's a more economic version of the one I used previously. Oh, did I not kill this somehow? No, apparently a hit was wasted. Looks like you're doing just fine, buddy. I'm keeping them busy, but they're working fast. Don't expect the comms blackout to hold for long. Just one more radar. Don't worry, I don't. Can I get in here? Yes, I can. Great. That means I don't have to actually lie to get around target is approaching warship open fire keep the target away was this not enough oh that's upsetting hold on let me just do this there we go Looks like you got them all six two Ah, they want me to Bad news. go downstairs to resupply. Back online. They've got warships heading your way. Hold out till I reach you. There's the catch. Resupply while you can, 621. Uh, where? Ah, there. Might as well. I didn't really take any damage, but it does accelerate when the enemy appears for round two. Enemy detected. They're firing from above. Code five. Target for termination approaching. And look how they and created a convenient two. staircase in case you have a loadout that can't get up here in one go. Somehow. That was upsetting. Heavy warships incoming. This is the planetary closure administration. Okay, now let's see if I can actually do this like that. Nope. Fuck. Well, I tried. Sadly, the game just doesn't like me. Oh, and I'm now going to fall down all the way. Perfect. Just, just great. Sometimes I really hate aim assist in games. This one in particular doesn't really do a good job at correcting your target if you want to switch it over to something. Hey, look, it's those guys again. And they have handheld swords. 
which I very much would prefer over wrist mounted oh, ones. Got high ranking PC. Code double four. Send me what you've got on the target. Relaying system response. Corporate agent engaged. Come on, lock on. It's a shit. Data on the mercenary is being checked for the What is this? There we go. I think I don't actually like the red coral rifle <laughs> it has one fan attack but that's it okay now it's time to run away there we go this should be enough I'm picking up something and in case it isn't I'll just yeah, I'll just go up. Hold on. There we go. A big worm. What? What? What is that you thing? can't really do any damage to it. Oh, hold on. Let me just have a little. Oh shit! I can't get a read on it. This is bad. Just focus on staying alive. Yep, that still does no damage. I'll wait this sequence out. Big worm. Looks like the PCA has helped itself to the Institute's relics. We will sadly have to fight it again. And I think. Here's the situation, 621. Yeah, because I would have to stay up, what, two more hours? I technically can. Sure, let's do that. <clears throat> Two more hours. Raven, we've received your request, and it's about Coral release. Oh. The message is highly encrypted with top-level security, and designed not to leave a trace. In other words, all mind doesn't want Walter to know about this. Let's take a look and decide what to do. Finally, two new messages. Heard the news, tourist. 
Ice worm, huh? Well. Yeah, yeah, Carla, go away. I'm more interested in the other one. Sorry to impose on you, Raven, but I've just sent you an urgent request. I wish we could deal with this on our own, but we've got no choice but to count on you. Take a look and see what you think. I'm pretty sure that's also old news, but... Yeah. Let's make sure I have both of the needles. There we go. Since they are offering, I might as well buy a second coral rifle, even though I'm not a big fan. I think there's also an option. Yes, I would like this. I would like that. I want the tiny grenade launcher because it's fun and tiny. Uh -huh. What else do I want from this list of cool things that I don't yet have? Probably the bazooka. And yeah, let's grab this head because it's taunting me for a while now. Coral expert denial. We already did the historic data recovery for air previously, but now we can do a new mission for Almind. First though, let's do old content, because old content has no new stuff in it. I'll cut to the chase. This is about the ice. I think now is a good time to assemble a new loadout. I will use the paint job from Venom Fangs as the basis, but the actual loadout itself will be a little bit different. I want a shock launcher, the therapist, and the stun baton to be the basis of this loadout. For support, I'll grab a turret and a kinetic drone, if I can find it. Hold on, is it on the other shoulder? Yes, it is. Good enough. I would like to have something that evokes the image of law enforcement here. I think Hall Arms will be the best, because I don't really need melee specialization, but I don't want to give it up. I'll go with this one. And for legs, I'm thinking these or that. Well, these are cheaper to equip. That gives me a nice 10k hit points. Sure, a pursuit booster. I don't think I'll be spending much time in the air with the slowdown anyway, because the bomb launcher doesn't really work in the air. For the FCS, I only really need short range, since the bomb launcher doesn't really work beyond it, and I don't have any missiles that would lock on. In fact, this one is cheaper and not much worse. Let's grab that instead. 
I don't have an energy weapon, so I can focus on performance. So long as it doesn't cost me the ability to actually field the unit. This is a good balance. Yeah, let's go with that. It takes a while to recharge, but when it does, it does so fully. I think I have what I want. Maybe a different head? I don't really see what could work. Nah, this is fine. Well, it I say it's fine. It probably needs a redo on the paint job. Because it looks a little bit silly. I'll figure that out later. For now, let's have a test run. You ready for this tourist? Nope. No one's gonna miss Brute. I am almost definitely not ready. I happen to know exactly. It's a delight to enjoy the company of a visitor from so far away. Brute, we're here to take back what you stole from us. Oh heavens, you're a friend of Carlos. I'm getting hit by the drones. Make sure you keep clear of the laser sensors. They're set to activate the enemy machines. A new friend from afar, just for me. What joy. Be still, my beating heart. Oh, nothing here. That's disappointing. I'm waiting for you, friend. I think I already opened I whatever was there. The big dance. I do hope I'll keep up, but the anticipation is part of the fun. Hey, that's Carla's line. are not actually going to smush anything up. Any gunfire I do will be incidental. Because I don't really mind not fighting anything here. I don't think there's any rewards for combat. Just for quick completion. Drone, drone, drone. You've introduced me to such wonderful people. Wonderful things. Shut up, tourist. The sweet melody of the generator. How Milton's heart sings. Come on. I have no intention. In fact, Why is he... Oh, I see. Quick, quick, go. There we fucking go. They have boosted both of these weapons quite substantially, I must say. I did not expect this to actually work. One 
Yes. This is Chatty. Thanks for putting the chiefs already, and I've never that is a Carla is happy with me. How kind. I think I want assault armor more than I want the pills one. But I will be saving this. As another loadout to potentially use in actual missions. Or rather, in the PvP. Uh, defending the dam. I don't think I can get away with using this in dam defense. So... Let's load up the primary. And get to it. <clears throat> Front. Here's the briefing. Raven, we have a mission we'd like you to take on. The objective is to defend the Gallia Dam complex in the Bellius region. Arch You're up against two of the arena's top performers. Dam Bellius? Still. Main system activating combat mode. This should be easier than last time. On account of my loadout being improved. His reputation for finesse is such that he's advertised as the ideal mercenary. Umbrox is piloted by Chartreuse, an aggressive bulldozer with unrivaled firepower. Hey, Doke. It's a friend. Let's try doing the king this time around as the first one. Because last time I killed Chartreuse first. <laughs> oh no. Oh. He got killed by the support AI that's here to give them a target. He was taken out by an MT. Yeah, yeah. Fuck off. Raven didn't even touch down. We've lost both of them. Sadly, Raven is not being done any justice by the unit they pilot. Oh, come on. Come 
There we go. Piece of shit. Next time, stay on the ground. Hold on. There we go. Just, just making sure the pilot is dead. Truly dead. I can be very spiteful when agitated. No new messages. Damn it. I've looked into Branch, the independent mercenaries who attacked you. It appears they don't have a fixed membership. Instead, they maintain independence and anonymity with a revolving door of select mercenaries. Now, it seems they've left it to you to champion the free will they stood for. Sooner or later, you'll have to make a choice no one can make when that time comes, Raven. Well, this time we are making a bit of a different choice, not necessarily for ourselves. Registration number RB23, Augmented Human, C4621, Raven. All Mind has identified you as a potential asset to the release project. Yay! Accordingly, we would like to assign you the following mission. Following the attack on Watchpoint Delta, Rubicon has experienced a series of coral upsurges. True. Of these, the corporations have seized 1.6% of the estimated total volume. They plan to analyze this coral at their research bases and have initiated an air transport operation. We cannot allow the corporations to interfere with the project. Attack the Yorkin refueling base and destroy as many corporate transports as possible. We are prepared to sacrifice the coral that will be lost upon destruction of the transports. In order to achieve release, we must draw out the full potential of the coral density effect. As such, we have no use for coral that has been orphaned from the main population. All Mind anticipates great things from you. Raven. If we're to find a way to achieve coral release, we have to take this request. It is very hard for air, but apparently it is a sacrifice that I am willing to make. For this one, there is a very particular loadout that makes life easier. Let's go with the lightweight legs, that's fine. Sure, let's go with this. This is about as flight oriented as it gets. There is no particular head that I need to use, so I might as well use this one. And for arms, I will want the ones that are most accurate. Hold on, does the head actually affect the ability to fire weapons? No. My FCS will be the one specialized for mid-range combat. Because that's where most of it will take place on this level. I want my energy spec generator because for this particular mission the best weapon to use is a pair of ray laser rifles. The last component that I need is a booster that doesn't draw much energy to stay in midair, which will be the mule. 
it honestly doesn't draw much energy to do anything with. Other than looking funny, which takes some of my mental energy. <laughs> I don't need shoulder weapons for this one, even though sometimes a missile would be helpful. But it lightens the load that I need to carry when I fly, so... Allmind reiterates its gratitude for your favorable response. Kindly commence the operation. Would you kindly? This is one of those missions that I know all too well. Your objective is to destroy all the coral transports. Independent mercenary Kate Markson will dispose of any transports that escape the combat zone. Just be aware that she also has her limits. Enemy attack! It's 180! They want the coral! Defend the transports! Take care to remain. Seems you have finished here. Wait. Transport detected below the cliff. Investigate immediately. Enemy there is one indeed. A liberation front. The Rubiconist would risk burning the coral. I am. Ensure that you eliminate them all. You're losing them. Where's our backup? They never trained me to pilot a PCA machine. You seem to have finished here. Continue the mission. Raven. For now, let's just focus on the mission. Air is very conflicted about this. Understandably. To her, we are committing genocide. Targets acquired. Multiple transports I have to say, I love how these legs have a unique animation for floating and dashing. to actually reload my energy. There we go. Okay. And same thing again. That's fine. Let me just get closer to actually fire it. Raven, Raven, topside. Yeah, those callouts are not very useful, honestly. That's fine. Should still be plenty enough. Oh shit. I need to hurry. There we go. That could have been a disaster. I 
really dislike this guy. There we go. I might actually lose some. Shit! failed myself mostly because this was doable especially with those new legs it should have been much easier delivers. Wait, that's me. Fuck. Raven, there's something that troubles me about Allmind. I've been looking for information on Kate Markson and there's nothing. Is it's almost to the release project? <laughs> It's almost as if she doesn't exist. One new message. Although that's really not very well explained at the end of the day. Time for work, 621. This next mission's all or nothing. Make sure you attend the briefing. Yeah, I know what it's about. Bomb, um, let me just. Uh, I want uh, this guy or this one this one I want oh oh do I do I dare no I wouldn't be able to fire both of them anyway because they have a, a firing animation that locks you out from using any other weapons. If I do this, I might be able to. But that will require a very particular set of arms. Which then need to be supported by sufficiently powerful legs. And now I am shit out of space for anything else. Even though I do need the needle. Well, technically do. Uh, let's do it like that. And then the big generator, because I don't really mind. The FCS can be literally anything. So let's make it this one. And somehow I am overburdened by a small amount. Very interesting. Perhaps I can get away with lighter arms. Oh yes, yes I can. Perfect. <laughs> Not with a lighter generator, although... 
since surviving the attack isn't really a high priority. This one gives me more damage output though, so I don't need to worry about that. Destroy the Ice Worm. Go. Listen up, 621. This will be a joint operation led by Balaam and Archibus. The briefing's about to start. I want you to <coughs> attend. First, some background before we go into detail. The intercorporate ceasefire is now in effect, and we will be carrying out coordinated attacks against the PCA. The targets are the enemy-occupied bases, the heavy warship fleet, and the recently activated... I'll cut to the chase. This is an all-out war against the PCA in theaters across Rubicon. And you... And we are killing the worm. Go. It's not every day. Go. Go faster. Go, this is the first one. Shield loss confirmed. Initializing ORC firing sequence. Har har, so funny, orc. EML modules. Opening energy turbines. Output at 80%. Sighting correction A OK. 90, 95. I won't miss. Hold on, it's too early. It's too early too. Wait. That freak actually did it. Did what? The bare minimum. This is just the first hurdle. Oh, I don't even need to use the blade. That's interesting. Might be able to get something out of this. No, I won't because it's not designed for manual aiming. There we go. One step ahead of you, Commander. Finally, someone with their head skirt on straight. Never thought about switching sides. Sure is an honor to be praised by the Red Guns hell on four legs. But I'll pass. There we go. Shield loss confirmed. Preparing to fire rail cannon. It took a little bit too long for my liking to get that shot in. But there wasn't any earlier opportunities, so I'll accept it. Watch out for friendly fire. Boom. Secondary shield down. It's all yours okay. now. There we go. That's a nice set of hits. Wait, something's wrong. Nothing is wrong. The, ah, there we go. Show up, you piece of shit. I 
It's one. That's fine. I miss. Shit. Two misses. Turn around. Come on. No, not like this. Damn it. That's not very helpful, Michigan. Good work, buddy. That cost a lot of hit points, but hey, I live. Sure, let's use both repair kits. And let's bubble up. All or nothing. Closer, 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 closer. There we go. Is it over? Get clear, it's gonna blow. The temporary alliance between the Archibus and Balaam groups turned the tide of war. No. Oh. Devastating. I feel like forces. doing some PvP yes, now that I have most of the parts that I actually cared to unlock. Which means this will be the end of the NG++ session. We will take a short break. Through their own engagements with the and BCA, after that, I'll do some PvP. Let's play the cutscene now, then I'll do my outro the for the VOD. Power was broken. The scales tipped in Archibus's favor. And the Rubicon Liberation Front's hopes of fighting an exhausted foe were dashed. With the loss of their common enemy, the rival factions' war for the Coral abruptly reignited. And their bitter conflict burned with renewed intensity. Wouldn't exactly call something obvious as abrupt. Augmented human, C46211. Fine. Yes. I'd wanted to let you rest some more, but the corpse are on the move already. With the PCA gone, it's back to work, getting to where the coral's gathering. Do you remember the survey you carried out at Xylem? My friend analyzed the data and learned about a massive facility under the central ice field. Watch point Alpha. Turns out that the ice worm was defending the entrance to that place. It's time to let ourselves in. Great. Raven, we're getting close to the Coral Convergence. I expect all minds will be getting involved soon. They will indeed, but that won't happen today. To those of you who have joined me, thank you very much. Obviously, this uh, goodbye is for those of you who are catching the VOD. Dziękuję i do następnego razu.